good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So guys, there is a story that is trending by uh, or about a young lady by the name of Ashley Nikma. She is from um, Brisbane. And I don't know if Brisbane is in Australia. It sounds like she has an Australian accent. I can't really put my uh, finger on it. But she went out on several dates with a particular man that she met on Hinge. And um, they went to go out to go eat. And unfortunately, the bill came. I'm going to take this time to let her discuss it. And then I'm going to come back. Ladies, I need your advice on whether this is a valid ick or if this is okay or whether my expectations are just too high. So I have just recently started dating again. It's not for the week, let me tell you that. I've been on a few dates with one guy um, and today's probably like the fourth time that we're kind of hanging out. Why don't we go get some massages? And he was down for that. And we get our massages, we pay for ourselves, totally fine. Then we go and decide to get some sushi for lunch. So we have our lunch. I'm still trying to figure out, do I actually like this guy or what's going on i'm time to paying for the meal and the lady asks us how would you like to pay and he straight up says let's split it and i'm just a little bit like okay like the total was 40 dollars. and so mind you on the other dates that we've been on we have both kind of paid so you know the first day we went to dinner and then we went to the arcade so he got dinner and then i got like the credits for the arcade Anyways, it comes time to pay. I tell We tell the lady that we're going to split the bill and she's having a little bit of trouble trying to split the bill and I don't, she doesn't quite understand what we mean. She's struggling with it for a little bit. So I just say to her, I said, oh, if it's easier, we can pay together. And she goes, oh, yes, please, like, please. And then so we're doing the awkward, like, and I kind of like look at him and he's not looking or he's not, he's not offering to pay. So I was like, okay, well, I'll pay for it. So I pay for it and afterwards he doesn't even say, you know, what are your details? I'll transfer it because five seconds ago, you weren't going to pay for my food, but I just paid for your food and like now you don't want to split it? Like what? The so I have the ick now and like he walks me to my car and like goes in for like a kiss and I'm just awkwardly like, I make up an excuse because I'm like, oh, sorry, I just ate sushi. Like I'm not going to kiss you. But in my head, I'm like, bro. Am I just asking for too much for somebody to pay for sushi if we're on a date? And like, these are the early days. This is when you're meant to still be impressing me or whatever the f men are trying to do these days. So guys, you've heard exactly what the young woman has to say. And let me, let me just say this, you know, um, as I'm getting older, I'm not really a guy who talks a whole lot about feminism and hypergamy as far as red pill things. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, the reality is no matter how much money a woman makes, she's going to want a man on average to take care of everything for the most part. Now in her case, she seems to be a little bit more lenient with it, but I want to just discuss this um, with a lot of women out there who are at the same time, you're independent you're well-focused, you're bragging upon your careers, your success, you don't need a man. And then when you meet a man like the one that she met and he is just trying to go 50-50 or wanting you to pay the bills, you're gonna be upset. The reason why I wanna just kind of go back to the feminism is that, and I grew up in a, a, um, a time where this was just now getting started, so it wasn't really affecting me. I came from the old school, the last generation of the old school. But a lot of these men are being taught that women are equals. Equality. Women want equality. Women want to be treated fairly. So in the part of the world, like in America, Australia, in the West, uh, and I'm not saying that all men look at this the same way, but I think that what men have less sympathy for women that we did as a, as a, as a gender 30 years ago, like in, in, like in Africa. Men are supposed to be, on average, full-fledged providers. It's expected of you from the community. But women are expected to be more submissive. You know, just like if you, you would see somebody, let's say, for example, from Bugan to Kingdom, 
here in the central. When you come across a woman like that, she's going to kneel for the most part. Okay. I used to think like, oh, you know, hey, get up. You know, why are you kneeling for? It's not necessary. And then I'm like, wait a minute. No, let me let her do it. This is her culture. You know, let me, who am I to tell her that she can't be who she is? So it's, it's, it's very good for me to tell her to, you know, keep doing what she's doing. But with that level of femininity, if I'm going to date, you know, or to marry somebody like that or any part of East Africa, I'm going to be expected to do more of the heavy lifting. Now, in the Western world, women are telling men, I'm not going to cook for you. I'm not going to clean for you. I'm not your maid. I'm not your housemaid. Now, at the same time, they're going to expect you to do everything you used to be doing 100 years ago, but they're telling you what you ain't going to do, right? So how a lot of men are responding to it are saying, listen, okay, cool. You don't have to do any of that stuff for me at all. Let's just split things down the middle each way. I don't need to spend no money on you. You ain't got to spend no money on me. We just got some time together. And if you want, we could, we, could, we, could, we, could, we could have sex or whatever. And, you know, let's continue to do it like that. And then you know what you're finding out? Women have a problem with the fact that men are responding like that. But that is what society is telling men now. It's telling men that women don't need you. That women have it figured out. You're the guy that probably doesn't have it figured out. And, you know, she is just as capable as you are. And don't ask for any of these things. Like if a guy is going 50-50, he's not really probably looking for these things, right? He's not looking for femininity. You to cook, you to clean, you do all these things. That's not what he's looking for. Okay, but a woman is looking to be getting taken care of fully and not doing any of those things. It's not uncommon for a woman to expect just great treatment and not doing any of those things we talked about. This is very important. And this is the culture now. And it's going to get worse. Think about the guys who are now 19, 20. That's grown up like this. I mean, now you have a Clarissa Shields getting ready to fight. Uh, you know, one of these boxers here, I forgot. And, you know, like, so now you're even seeing this more often, you know, women and men, you know, and sometimes in combat sports, this is crazy. Okay. This is crazy, but you're going to continue to see it a lot. Okay. A lot, a lot. It's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen because guys are going to look at it like, look, you're not bringing it to the table. You won't bring no femininity table. So I'm looking at you as if you're anybody else. But this is what women have fought so much to be like. And the thing is, a lot of women want to be able to talk about those things, but they don't want to be left on the hook like that. Women need women don't want to admit that they, they need men's help more than they think. They want to be nurtured more than they think. But you're going to have to, you're going to, have to it's going to cost you something. That's the problem that they have. It's going to cost you something. And if you're not going to deliver that, leave these guys alone. Okay? Stop. Stop getting upset that these guys are going 50-50 when you're not willing to compromise for what you want to do for him. Stop. Just stop it. You're not trying to be all like that, like you said. Like So, you know, this is what you're getting. Blame the society. Women wanted this. Women started getting it. The guys are responding to it. That's the problem. So guys, we think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Could you find you do? Turn the bell. We're at. Right.